In this video, we'll have a look at how to create calculated columns in SharePoint. So I've created a brand new list and I've called it orders. And now we need to add some columns. We're going to create multiple columns with different types. We're going to have a customer name and product column, and those will be a single line of text type column. We'll also have a quantity and unit price column, and those will be a number type column. And finally, we'll have a total due column, which will be a calculated type column. Click on add column, choose your type. We're going to go for a single line of text. Give a name to this column. You can give it a description. Make sure that the type is correct. Choose a default value if you want to. And we're gonna click on more options to be more flexible. You have the maximum number of characters. Do you want this column to always have some information? Yes. You also have the possibility to enforce unique values and add to all content types. Once you're happy, just click on save. And our new column has been created. Now it's time to add the quantity and unit price column. Do the same steps. Click on add column and choose number. Give it a name. Make sure the type is okay. Choose the number of decimal that you wish. Click on the drop down menu and I'm going to choose zero because the quantity column should be a full number. We're going to leave the default value empty and click on more options. The minimum value for this column will be one. Choose if you want a maximum value. Do we want this column to require some information? Yes. And we leave the rest as the default. Click save. And the quantity column is there. And finally, let's create the total due column. Add column. And we can see there's no calculated type column. So we need to click on more. Give it a name. And choose calculated. Then it's time to enter the formula. And in our scenario, this would be the quantity by the unit price. Double click on quantity, enter the asterisks, and double click on the unit price. This will be a currency type. Choose the number of decimal. I'm going to choose two. And for the currency format, I'm in the UK, so I'm going to choose the pound. You can do some column formatting as well. And once you're finished, click on OK. Now it's time to fill up our list. Click on new and start entering values for the fields. Click on save and our total due column seems to work perfectly. Okay, so I've added a few more orders and now it's time to rearrange this list. So let's filter by customer. To modify your current view, click on all items and edit current view. You can modify the columns that you want to see. And for instance, I do not want to see the title column, so I'm going to uncheck the box. And then we're going to scroll down until we see group by. Here it is. So let's click on the plus sign to expand the menu. And we want to group by the column customer name. So click on the drop down menu and look for the customer name. Click on OK. And now the view has changed and is organized by customer. So I can expand for customer one and see all the orders for the customer one and do the same for the other customers. If you prefer to group by products, go back to all items, edit the current view, scroll down to the group by, expand the menu again and choose products. Click on okay. And the view has changed again. Expand. And now the list has been grouped by products. Thank you for watching.